So in today's video I'm going to start the process of taking apart the apron, the carriage, the entire front. Um, and admittedly I cheated a slight bit because I've started doing this before. Big problem, can't find many instructions or information about the lathe. Um, so at a quick high level, the things I need to do, remove the two bolts over here. Let me move in a bit closer. It's going to be pretty, um, pretty close quarters. So there's one bolt on each side. Um, I found I had to loosen them until it impacted, and then loosen them just a bit more. Um, and I placed something between them until I could get them out. So that's this part. Um, things I found when I did it was there was lots of stuff being collected in here and I used a lot of compressed air to get that out and then these two bolts are free to move after that I loosened the two um, hex head bolts at the back so here's one of the two and we'll get the other one out as well. And what those two do is they actually support these parts of the lead screw. And so you can see this is the brass fitting. Oh, that's actually got a lot of gunk in it, which is not a good sign. Um, that this will adjust on. So from there, these two screws would come out. I've already taken them out because Everything's quicker on video. Pull those two screws out and then just slowly pull, try not to nick any bearings. And so you can see, as far as fit up goes, this is much what happens. Or not. I um, guess I have to go the right way. But uh, needless to say, there's some lead screw cleaning that's going to be needed. Or, I suppose this isn't the lead screw, this is the carriage screw. So we'll, we'll get more cleaning on that in the future. Um, so the interesting thing, probably common on more high-end lathes, uh, or more automated lathes, let me use that word, is the gearing. And so the gearing in here rides along another set of gears in the apron. So you have the option of moving forward and aft on the carriage automatically. From there, this piece would usually be taken off off the back. Um, problem with that, the reason I can't do it, the lathe is too close to the wall. So, this is where things stop going as fast, and we'll start making more um, progress and I'll talk through more things. From there, the next thing I think I should do, and I will do, is remove these three um, Allen head bolts. So these are, the good thing about this lathe is everything's metric. Uh, the bad thing about the lathe is I've amassed a hell of a lot of standard tools and not as many metric lately. And I actually had some I don't even know what the word is, dilemma, concerns about what to use. Do I use brake cleaner? Do I use degreaser? Um, and I'm probably not that environmentally friendly because I'm going to use the brake cleaner just because I find it works really, really well. So judging by this, there's probably a good four or five threads in it. What I'm going to actually do with a lot of the smaller parts is I'm going to drop those in my ultrasonic cleaner. And admittedly, I thought when I got that off, it would all come off 
almost automatically. But it has not. Um, I know there are some screws on the back here uh, that are hexes that I will probably have to pull next. And those adjust the carriage, but um, let's see. Yeah, that looks like it's a captured bracket. See what size we need. Not that one. Okay, looks like there was one more. Nah. So I've got the four cap screws out but it seems like there is something still holding this one on. Aha. Uh -huh. Makes a lot of sense. It's this guy over here. So by simply removing that. And what do we have here? Uh, you can see the paint job again. And some of the oil conditions. Is the bar that rides along the bottom. So I'm going to leave that here. To hopefully oil out. And at this point, in my mind at least, we should be able to pull this top piece off. There's a hex screw here, cap screw. You've probably heard me call them five things now. And I'm going to pull this guy out as well. Exactly see what's down here. It might just be, I think it's just a mechanical interference by pushing it down more. And you apply more pressure to a runner. So we'll put that back loosely. So one other thing I see now. Is, uh, looks like it's a similar thing over here. Let's bring the camera in. Show this vantage. that did was dislodge this other um, brass or bronze bearing. So at that point we're able to remove it, so that's great. Ah, and there are the two screws that take off the tail. Um, this part doesn't look in terrible shape. It's going to look better though in a few minutes. Well, a few television minutes. So now we can get a full look here. Um, large amounts of metal chips that are built up over the years. Um, but at this point, there's still something holding. So a bit of an update. I managed to get the apron off. And that's what we have here. Here's that bad gear. Um, everything I see on this is pretty filthy. So I'm going to take this back plate off, 
see if I can get this out, try to determine what it is.